Welcome to Cars Mation. 2025 Mercedes AMG G63. The Mercedes AMG G63 may be a familiar sight on Beverly Hills streets these days, but its history dates back to 1979, when the first G-Class SUV was an all-business military off-road vehicle. Years later, the G63 variant, a high-performance all-terrain luxury SUV with a legendary past, became well-known for its boxy design, luxurious interior appointments, bold twin-turbo V8 engine, and off-road ability. The current G63 is built on the slightly less showy Mercedes-Benz G550, but it comes equipped with a 577 horsepower twin-turbo V8 engine from AMG and comes standard with a 9-speed automated transmission and all-wheel drive. The G63 is equally adept at tiptoeing down a rough mountain trail as it is at tearing up drag strips. Once you've finished both of those, you may utilize it to draw attention when you pull up to the valet stand at a fancy restaurant. The only real drawback to this opulent off-road vehicle is its six-figure price tag, but that's the price you pay for quality, exclusivity, and a healthy dose of outrageousness. What's new for 2025? For 2025, the cube-shaped SUV will undergo minor stylistic adjustments to boost aerodynamics on the G63. The G63 is able to cut through the air more readily thanks to a redesigned grille and front bumper, reshaped A-pillars, and a modest rooftop spoiler above the windshield. A 48-volt hybrid system is added to the twin-turbo V8 somewhere, and a new hydraulic adaptive suspension system is an optional feature. AMG has improved wheel articulation and added new all-terrain driving modes to the performance SUV, making it a more capable off-road vehicle. Starting this year, the G63 will now be available with the optional G Professional Package, which includes unique interior trim and more aggressive off-road equipment. Infotainment updates are available for all models. This year, the G-Class gets a new MBUX interface from the company, which includes certain G-specific off-road capabilities, including a 360-degree video system that shows the driver what's exactly underneath the car. In the latter part of 2024, Mercedes-AMG dealers will start receiving the G63. The G-Class now comes in an electric variant as well, which we discuss separately. Pricing and which one to buy. Depending on the model and extras, the 2025 Mercedes-AMG G63 is anticipated to cost between $190,000 and $210,000. G63 $190,000 G63 Manufactured $200,000 G63 G Professional $210,000 Despite the fact that all Mercedes AMG G63 models include 20-inch wheels, adjustable dampers, leather upholstery, heated front and rear seats, and three-zone temperature control as standard equipment, most purchasers view the SUV's starting price as the price of a blank canvas. The Manufacturer Personalization Program offers a plethora of customizing possibilities, and it's no secret that AMG will accommodate almost any kind of request from a customer, as long as the check clears. Performance, Engine, and Transmission with the help of a 48-volt hybrid system, the G63's twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 engine produces 577 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. However, the engine lacks an electric driving range. If the driver decides to travel off-road, a 9-speed automatic transmission distributes torque to the all-wheel drive system, also known as 4MATIC in Mercedes marketing speak, which has three locking differentials, front, rear, and center, to guarantee optimal traction. The suspension is also given the AMG treatment, which optimizes it to manage the increased power on the road while maintaining off-road performance. The G's independent front suspension is a huge improvement over the solid front axle configuration of the previous generation, but stability control maintains a firm grip on this heavy lifting beast, limiting its cornering grip to only 0.75 G on our 300 foot diameter skid pad. Although the G63 has superior traction on the road than many other high performance SUVs, few can match its off-road capabilities. The newly available hydraulic adaptive suspension, which offers a smoother ride both on and off-road, 
really surprised us on our first test drive. Fuel Efficiency and Actual MPG The G63's fuel efficiency is merely an afterthought, and we doubt the hybrid system and aerodynamic features will significantly raise the SUV's EPA estimates from the present 13 miles per gallon city and 16 miles per gallon highway. We'll test the G63 on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy route when we have a chance, and we'll update this story with actual test results. 0 to 60 miles per hour times. A 5,800 pound 2019 G63, which is no slouch, reached 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds during C D testing. Although the 2025's 48 volt hybrid system was absent from that model, we anticipate the new model to be no faster. We plan to test the 2025 G63 as soon as possible and update this article with the findings. Connectivity and Entertainment Mercedes's MBUX software system is integrated into a 12.3-inch infotainment interface that comes with every G63. Navigation, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto are included as standard features. Three 12-volt power outlets, a home AC plug in the cargo area, and a Burmester surround sound system all contribute to a peaceful ride. A three-year subscription to Mercedes-Benz Linked Car Services, which offer standard features like remote engine start and tracking of stolen vehicles, is also included. Wi-Fi and a rear entertainment system with two 11.6-inch touchscreens for web browsing and video streaming are available as options. Cargo, Comfort, and Interior The G-Class's exterior maintains its classic square-shouldered design, but the inside is enhanced by the same premium materials and high-tech and convenient features found across the Mercedes range. A 12.0-inch digital instrument display, cup holders, leather upholstery, and a surround view camera system are all included. The standard list also includes an AMG steering wheel covered in leather and heated front and rear seats. There is ample head and legroom in the front and back for taller drivers and passengers. There is still no power lift gate around the back of the G-Class, and opening the side hinged gate, which has a full-size spare tire installed on it, will require some physical strength. There will be 38 cubic feet of cargo capacity when the back seats are up. When folded in a 60-40th split, they yield almost 69 cubic feet. Thanks for watching.